Hello YouTube, welcome to the scene haul of this video. I have this on because I'm one of my edges daily while I try the outfits on. The start of my haul, I'm gonna do my workout stuff. I already wore two of the pieces in this part of the haul, so I'm not gonna try them on again because I didn't get to wash them. They were a little dirty because I was at the gym with them, but yeah, it's gonna be my gym stuff that I got for myself. Hope you guys enjoy and what i'm wearing right now i don't know if it's see-through so this is just a test run um this two-piece outfit like a lounge kind of thing um it's like waffle material it's cute i do like it this is my first time actually wearing it though so it's just like for in the house type of stuff but i just wanted to show you my little setup don't mind my door i got all my bags there but yeah, this is where I'll be doing the whole. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. All right. So for my first pair of shorts, I will say I love these a lot. I like how flexible they were in the colors. I didn't know that it had like the line behind it. I know you guys can see it like in the butt area. I didn't know that. But they're still cute. They come up really high. I'm like 5'1 for reference for the rest of the video too. So you guys know like... That's how high it can go to my torso, I guess. But yeah, they're really cute and stretchy. And this is a medium. Yeah. <laughs> and then for my second pair of shorts, also a medium. I got all pink. These are also high-waisted and stretchy. They didn't have the line in the middle, which I liked a lot. It um, gives off more of like a realistic look for me, I guess. Like, I don't like making it look extra when i wear shorts i like how i can fold them and stuff and yeah they're just really cute i really like these a lot all right so for my third pair of shorts i got these in a small so they do fit a little tighter around the crotch area i will say they're a little uncomfortable but i still like them i still wear them to the gym they have like a good material to it and i like how i can still kind of fold the top if i wanted to I like having that option when I go to take my pictures, but when I'm working out, I leave them out. But yeah, these are really cute, and I recommend. And for my last pair of shorts, I also got these in a small. I like the way they fit. Um, I know soon I probably won't fit them anymore, but again, really nice material. It's like the other ones. Um, I do have less of a stretch in these for some reason than I did the blue one. I feel like I have less room. But they're still really cute. I still recommend them. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So, as you can see oh, on my thing, I do have two or three pieces left. Sorry. These two I was wearing earlier that you guys seen in the vlog. So, you guys kind of know how these fit on me. But I will talk about them. So. This is like a compression shirt. I will say like it really helped me sweat a lot. But I have been sweating more because I've been drinking chlorophyll. So if you guys aren't on it yet, start drinking chlorophyll when you're working out or just every day. Like it helps. It's like a detox thing. So anyways, that's not the point. Is. But yeah, I really like this. I didn't want to put it back on because it's dirty. And then I have these. And yeah, same type of thing. I got this in a medium and this in a small i believe because i wanted it to be compressed with some shirts i don't know it depends on the material you guys know what sheen like you um should get a small so yeah i got this in a small and this in a medium but i'm about to throw these in my dirty clothes yeah and then these unfortunately are very very tight on me and it's just too hot to try these on so yeah but they're small i probably should have got a medium they're really tight like on my legs on my knees and when leggings are that tight on my knees and my shins i just don't like them like i just immediately it's a no so yeah but they did have pockets on them that's why i got them because i've always like the leggings with like the little pockets i can put my airpods in it or just like my phone i do recommend there's like hair all over me <laughs> anyways I do recommend these um just size up i'm i will say i'm 123 pounds currently right now more so 25 and i'm a little heavier up here and then smaller waist down 
my butt is getting a little big but this switch is really tight on my legs and my legs are small so yeah this is the return pile which is going over there at the top of my bed because i already have the pile of stuff i'm returning but now we're gonna move into the tops and yeah okay uh, for a little disclaimer um the pieces i'm about to show are all tanks so i just want y'all to know that before i start i don't know if y'all care but i'm gonna do all my tanks first because i didn't realize how many sh i bought a lot of shirts i did so i'm gonna try to get through this as fast as possible all right so for my first tank top i will say this is really cute i'm obsessed i love it i love the saying that it has and the butterflies and all of it i love how it makes like my upper body look i don't know how to explain it but i'm really starting to like this shape of shirt on me and that's how it looks on the back and yeah i just really love this shirt because i'm a pretty girl period <laughs> All right, for my next one, I will say I'm not too sure if it was see-through or not, so don't mind me doing that. But I love the color coding on it, and I like how it color coded like on the sides. It says "Be kind to your mind," and I just thought it was cute. I have Converse that color, so I thought it would match. And yeah, really cute. <laughs> this tank top I'm also obsessed with as well. The material of it is really great. It's like a ribbed, like kind of rough, like kind of tee. I don't know how to explain it, but you know how, like, how wife beaters feel? That's how this one feels. I love the color choice they use for the words. They had a red one too, I believe. And yeah, I just like the graphic on it. It's really cute. Now with this shirt, I will say, I feel like it fitted a little weird because of how thick the graphic like print sticker thing was. I don't know, but it's a really like thick sticker, I will say. And... Yeah, but it's still a cute shirt. I love the color coding on the sides, like the block color thing, I like that. And I have like shoes that match this as well, so I love it. Now for this shirt, it did not come like this. I actually cut it myself because I was trying to make an outfit with it. With one of the skirts I'm actually gonna show you later. Um, I love this shirt, I love the butterflies on it. And like, I've always liked the like newspaper graphic type of shirt. I thought it was really cute. Again, I cut the shirt myself. I think it's really cute, so yeah, let me know if I did a good job. <laughs> now we're moving into more of my basic looks I've got and like not graphic t-shirts. I really like this one because it's like just a plain color. I like brown recently. I've been liking like the earth tones. I love how the back is shaped and just all of it. I really like this shirt. It's really comfortable. You don't sweat too much in it because you know how sometimes the material is like uh, you sweat a lot in it it's kind of breathable and it's not see-through which i like so yeah here's another tee i got this in a pack of three i will say that the white one is a little see-through i could not find the gray one that it came with but i really like the material of this it's thick it's kind of the same material as the brown one and yeah just cute summer simple looks that I was trying to go for this summer. Now with this one, this is more of like a bra, I would say, but it's not like it's supposed to be a shirt. I feel like I could have gotten a medium to make it look more like a shirt, but I wish it did fit a little tighter. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I felt about this one. I think I worn it once, but it's more of a house shirt to me. I feel like I won't really wear this out, but it's the same material as the other ones. It's really cute, so. Now, this one is a little more revealing. It's a lot going on, I know. Sorry about that. Um, so I know I look cute, but I just don't know where I'd wear this. When I get shirts like this, I'm like, where am I gonna wear this? I don't know. I feel like I'm in like this fantasy world of like euphoria or something. I don't know. But I really like it. I love the bag. I love alter type of shirts. Um, I like that rip look. It gives me like 2000, early 2000s. I don't know what year, but there's a year I remember seeing shirts like this a lot and i'm i'm all for it i love it so yeah really cute oh and the trim yes it was so cute so cute yeah <laughs> so for this shirt i'm obsessed i have one of these in black already so i had to get one in teal because i love that color on myself when i get tan like in the summer it's a cute summer color for me 
Um, I like how it has that like shape on it. So it kind of like shapes your body when you go to tie it in the back. So it gives that illusion. I really like it, it's really cute. And the material is like a shimmery type of material. I also got it in orange, got it twice. Again, really cute, I love it. Like it gives like this ballerina look and then you can pair this with anything. Like I feel like you could pair these types of shirts with like any type of pant and it's gonna look cute. Especially if it's like a crazy ripped jean or just like a cute skirt, like a graphic type of skirt. But yeah, love, love, love. <laughs> So there is a little disclaimer with this top as well, it is see-through, but it's still really cute. I just recommend wearing like any boob coverings or whatever, or chest coverings or whatever. It has like a little abstract like stripe thing on it, that's what like caught my eye about it. And I liked how small the two part was for the back. But yeah, it's really cute, it's just see-through, which is kind of like, but I love it. I also got this brown tube top that I thought was really cute. It has this grip thing in the inside that I thought was literally genius. I literally got this shirt because I seen that in the reviews and I was like, I want this, I need this. Cause I feel like every time I wear tube tops, it just doesn't go right for me. Like I feel like mm, chest is about to be out, but that was perfect. I love it. Now moving into my tees, I will say the basic not synthetic i forgot what polyester tees they have i don't recommend they're all see-through i got two pairs of them i've worn the black one a couple times but i obviously have to wear a bra but yeah they're just some crop basic crop tops and they're very see-through i don't recommend now this shirt right here i'm obsessed with i bought a couple shirts that are kind of like this fit with the baseball look that baseball tee look I love it. I love how it cuts off at the shoulders really kind of like high. And then I love this um, saying. It says, always stunning. And yeah, it's supposed to be like kind of tighter fitted, I will say. I wish I got like an extra small because then it would look like more slim and I can wear it with like low rise. These are like the shirts you wear with like low rise jeans. They're really cute. Yeah, I see the vision. Yeah. I see it. <laughs> Again, I had to get the other baseball look. These shoulders aren't cut off as high, but it's still the same type of font, pretty much. It says, I heart me, love, love, love. I haven't worn this yet, and I'm waiting to wear this outfit. I really am, because I'm gonna show you why. I believe I turn and like grab a bag. Wait, yep, yep. <laughs> now let me tell you something. I found this bag at like a Goodwill, and then I bought this shirt, and now I have a bag in the shirt. Like, come on, come on. I'm gonna wear it one day though. Watch. <laughs> now, this is one of my last tees I showed you guys, at least my graphic ones. It's very see-through. I had to, as you can see, cover it with a sticker. I'm really upset about it. I couldn't return this one. I think I got it on like a sale where I couldn't return it. So yeah, but it says League with a star. It's cute. Hey you guys, so unfortunately, I didn't get to finish the sheen haul, but I'm finishing it now. So this will be the second part of the rest of my things. Right now I'm gonna finish off with the tops that I have. A lot of them are like kind of more showing. So I was kind of nervous about doing them. I only do one. It came in a three pack. And then the rest of them are like corsets and just little stuff. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do the bottoms that I got from sheen, like all the shorts and stuff. And then I'm going to do the bottoms I thrifted in it, or really just clothes I thrifted and all that. So I hope you enjoy. Let's start. So for this shirt, I'm not going to show too much, but it is like an alter type of shirt. And just imagine it being a two top. I will say that it's kind of difficult finding the way you want it to look on your body, especially if you're, I don't know. I feel like I have body dysmorphia sometimes when it comes to my chest area so i will say these shirts i'm probably i don't know when i'm gonna wear them or how i'm gonna wear them but yeah it's kind of open right here i remember when i first got it i found a way to tie it but yeah you kind of can just tie them however you can pretty much just like do whatever like i could have just did that 
But I kind of like the zigzag thing. I forgot the other ones I did it. It was one time I, I think I did something like that. I don't know. The string's really long and stretchy, so you can just do like a bunch of random stuff with it. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but I got this pack on this deal with it. It was like green, white, and black. Now this is another graphic tee I got. I wish I got it again in an extra small so I had that fitted look, but this is like one of those like low-key cropped type of shirts that like would look cute with low-rise jeans. That was the vision I had when I went to go buy it. But it's still cute and yeah. I really like it. It says be your own son and it has like a band playing in the background. And that's me dancing. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's cute, especially for the tall girlies. I think the tall girls are cute. Now, this is a course set I got. It says Visual Beast on it. I will be wearing this soon with a new vlog coming up for my birthday. It's like a couple months away, but I really love the zipper. I love the brown. I just love the whole thing. I like all of it. I like that I don't have to really wear a bra with it because it like supports already. I got this in a small for that reason. And... Yeah, it's really cute. I love the sewing in it as well. And it like shapes me and this is me dancing again. <laughs> but yeah, how do you recommend? It's really cute. I think I got this on the sale too. Okay, so for this romper again, this was see-through. I do believe I got it a too small. This was a small in the petite um, section of Sheen. And it was just like really tight on me. I got it because I like the ribbed um, look on rompers and just clothes in general. So yeah, I was kind of excited to get this, but it just did not fit correctly. I think I've worn this once and I just didn't wear it again because I felt like I just looked too big in it. <laughs> but yeah, it's see-through to me. So I do favor this romper more than the other romper that I just showed you guys. I like the material it is and um, that it has adjustable straps, which you'll see when I turn around. But I will say this was also a little too small for me. I just have to accept that I'm not a small anymore. With this haul, I will say that this is when I started to merge into buying my clothes into medium. So all of my fall are more medium, but yeah. It was cute though. I really like the color gray, so I like how this looks on me. And then for this one, I've actually bought this twice already. Um, this is a small, and it still is huge on me. Like when I tell you huge, like there's so much space. And before I got a medium, so I had to return this. Sadly, I really, really wanted this because of the shape of the top. I really liked it, and it was like ribbed but it was just huge i don't know why i don't know if anybody else has bought this um outfit or bodysuit from sheen but y'all let me know how it fits y'all because it does not fit me correctly at all <laughs> Now next is this dress. I did not expect the dress to be this material it did catch me off guard i will say I thought it was gonna be like a normal cotton. It's kind of a polyester material. I haven't worn this yet, only because like, I don't know if I like the material too much, but I, excuse me. <laughs> I do like how long it is and I like the split in the back. I thought that was cute to give me room to like, if I have to run or something, you know. Look at my dog. <laughs> but yeah, it's so cute. It's a cute dress. I like the color. I just didn't like the material. Oh my god, so this dress, I was so excited to get because it was this mermaid kind of tail dress that I really, really, I just loved it. I loved it so much on everyone else. Not too much on me. I got a small and it's like really big. It's not as tight, but I think I'll grow into it. Like I'm praying to God I grow into it correctly because it just doesn't have, I don't know, it didn't fit me the way I thought it would. But I really love the color and I love the style of these dresses. I would buy every color if I did. Now this is like a little two, the early 2000s Y2K skirt I bought. It's not a maxi skirt. It goes at least up to the top of my ankle. Yeah, I kind of show it right there. It is still cute. I love the zebra print and I love the flowers and stuff. So yeah, I haven't worn this yet, but it's really cute and I do recommend it.
Now for this skirt, I was always skeptical about buying skirts like this because when I try them on in stores, they fit me a different way. But I got this in a small and it was just entirely too small. It had this like short thing inside of it and it was really tight, like really tight on my bottom and it kind of hurt. And yeah, eventually um, I returned this skirt, but I really liked it. I liked it with this top and I wanted to pair it so bad, but yeah. So this top I found at H&M. They were selling them, I believe, for $3. I love it so much. It is a little see-through. That's why I'm covering myself. But it's like a little, like, simple tank, I guess I would say. Then I found this skirt that was like $8, I believe. I do, I do not remember. But it's really cute. It's like a simple type of pencil skirt. I want to pair this with a graphic tee, so hopefully soon I'll be wearing that. But yeah, it's really cute. Now, this is one of the skirts I wore for a concert I went to. I got this at Garage. It was $50, I believe, or $60. I don't really remember, but I did get like a 10% discount because I had signed up. I was trying to get some type of discount. I've never bought anything from there, but I really love this skirt. I love how you can wrench it up and it kind of gives you a shape to your body. And yeah, I just love army green. So it's really cute. Yeah, all of army green is always cute to me. And I love the buttons. This is a maxi, I would say cargo, but it's more of just like a khaki skirt that I found at the Goodwill for at least like four to three dollars I believe I was so happy when I found it because like I knew I would either like dye it or just wear it a couple times and then dye it like I'm obsessed with this skirt I like that it's low rise and yeah go will be having fun I really do I need to make like a thrifting video one day with you guys yeah I really love it another maxi skirt I found at another goodwill I believe I got this for about five four dollars um it's not one of my favorite skirts i got but i will say like it's a cute show like aaron running type of skirt like i already have worn it a couple times i think but yeah it's like a cute little summer skirt i like it a lot and it has like that mermaid effect as well at the bottom of it but i love the goodwill i really do <laughs> Okay, so for these shorts, I got them from Plato's Closet, I believe, for like seven, eight dollars. They're really cute. Uh, I wanted like a good pair of jean, black jean shorts, so I do recommend going to Plato's Closet for like cheap, cute summer stuff, and that's in kind of style, and then like name brand, I guess. But yeah, they're from Forever 21 originally, and I really like them. All right, so for my first accessory, I got this pink bag that's kind of runched up. I really like the runch look, and it's roomy. It's pretty big. Um, I really wanted a pink bag, so this is the one I got. It was cheap, and yeah, I think I need to start buying like good bags though. But I like it. Now for this bag, I really, really, really love this bag just because the shape that it makes when you go to close it. I don't like it when it's open, so I'll definitely always have it closed when I'm wearing it or with any outfit I pair it with. I also wanted like more colored bags, so I got this orange one. It's kind of bright. I wish it was a little darker, but yeah, I just love the style and I love the string look. It's really cute. Now for this bag, I will say I returned it. I did like the details with the silver and then the pearl but the color itself just wasn't giving what i thought it would when i got it in person so yeah i did return it but it's still cute and it's like a coat material kind of so yeah cute. now i got this bag from forever 21 for nine dollars really cute and simple it's like a lightish pink purple i would say like lavender type of color and yeah, it has like a wallet pocket. It's cute. Now, this bag is so cute. I love the green and I like how I paired it with this outfit. It's like a snake 
alligator skin type of look it's like a fake leather as well so it's like it gives like leather and i love the gold accents with it it's really cute it's kind of big i forgot how much i paid for this one but i know i got it from forever 21 and it wasn't too expensive i normally get stuff on sale <laughs> so yeah now this bag is really cute it gives me like pencil pouch vibes but i've always liked pencil pouches that were shaped this color so i mean this shape and then this color is also just really cute i love the reflecting look and yeah it has like a little chain strap that i really liked and i like wearing silver so i know i'll match that with some silver jewelry and stuff and yeah it's really cute it also has like an extendable string thing which i didn't know until after i wore it now for my glasses this is the first pair i got they're like big hey, gucci glasses if you know you know i really like them i had a couple youtubers that i watched they had bought them so i was like i'm gonna get them and yeah they're cute i just haven't found an outfit to pair away i don't know but they're cute now these are just like a simple orange box glasses yeah they're cute these are some hair clips i got um, I haven't really got to use these yet because my hair is not the length I want to where I can kind of use them freely But I didn't have any hair clips. So that's why I bought them. I came in a three-pack green gray and like this apricot color Yeah, I liked them a lot. They're cute Now this was a cheap little pack of Hoops I needed I had no hoops. I love all the color schemes it came with Plus, I needed gold and silver, and it came in a two-pack, so I was like, why not? And yeah, they're really cute. Definitely recommend. Now, for these necklaces, I will say I was a little disappointed in them. They were kind of like, I already know, like, jewelry from Sheen is cheap. But this gave, like, you definitely bought this shit from the dollar store. Like, I don't know. Like, it was just not giving what I thought it was. And that's why I had pulled it to see, like, is it going to break? Like, if I like straight plastic. And then it came with this little chain. And the chain, no matter which way I did it, it was, like, stuck in a loop. I don't know. I was a little disappointed with this, but it was cheap, so what do you expect? Now, this I'm obsessed with. It's a little, um, what is that thing called? A waist, yeah, a waist bead, yeah. I thought it was really cute, I like them. These are some rings I got. The rings were giving, I love how chunky they were. And, yeah, they're just really cute. I always have a hard time finding rings that fit my fingers, I will say that. So I was really excited that they were fitting. And yeah, you just see me here playing with them, trying to figure out which finger it fits on. But they're really cute and chunky and I like rings like that. And when I have nails on, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yeah. These give, they're really cute. Now for this, this is an anklet, but you can also wear, wear it as a bracelet. It's like a, um, yeah, it's like a rainbow kind of look. It has a bunch of colors on it. I really liked it. I liked how it was gold. It's me putting it on my ankle. It was very flattering. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Give it summer. Yeah, it was cute. <laughs> now, this is earrings. A little pack of earrings I got. Simple little cross stuff. This was just simple stuff i wanted then i got a cross to go with that set of earrings and yeah i gave i gave i did wear it i probably might not put the post of how i wore it because the outfit i want to rewear i'm gonna show y'all anyway i'm gonna show y'all anyway it's really cute though <laughs> but yeah it wasn't as shiny as i thought i thought it would be shinier now here is a little tote bag i got um i like the little tote bags i have i've had had to wash it a couple times i was already using it before i did the haul so that's why it's like filled with stuff but it just has butterflies on then i got a makeup bag oh my god this makeup bag is so cute i needed like a little makeup bag to like travel with and it's really soft and i just love the butterflies on it yeah that's all my stuff <laughs>